Hey there, welcome to Red State Update. My name's Jackie Bro. And I'm Dunlap, and Al Franken Ow. is your new senator Ow. from Minnesota. He makes me sick. I, now look at here. I, now I can handle an actor running for office. Yeah, I can handle that. Hell, this country had an actor that ran for office. It was one of the best politicians, one of the greatest elected officials this country's ever seen. Yeah. Yes, sir, old mm. Ronald Reagan. Oh, yeah, yeah, him too. Of course, I was talking about old Fred Thompson. But I tell you what, how low has this country sunk when you're going to start a Electing comedians in the office. Good Lord Almighty. Especially comedians that ain't funny like Al Franken. Yeah, calling people fat. They're calling them stupid. They're calling them idiots. And he's doing drugs. Now, actually, I don't think Al Franken does drugs anymore, Jackie. You're thinking of Tom Davis. Who? Yeah. Wow. But I will tell you this, Jackie. All comedians, every last one of them, are all attention whoring yeah. Cocaine addicted, yep. Yep. self hating egomaniacs yep. who are so so eager for self promotion, so oh, yeah. desperate oh, for yeah. fame that they will even go so far when their career is in the toilet as to put videos of themselves up on YouTube. Yep. I mean, gross. That's pitiful right there. Look, if you're gonna if you're gonna elect a comedian, why not elect a funny comedian? Yeah, like. Like, like an old string bean, yeah. Yeah, he's dead, though. Yeah, or old Junior Samples, yeah. Yeah, he's dead, too. Yeah, or old Gas Boot, yeah. Gas Boot? Yeah, he's dead. i tell you what, Gas Boot, he used to be on the, uh, what is it, Frolics on the WSM radio. Used to listen to him all the time. He's the funniest, funniest comedian I ever seen. My little boy one time, my parents, they treated me, they took me up by Grand Ole Walker. We saw him live. He's the funniest thing I'd ever seen in my life. Yeah, he'd be out there, he'd be turning up his dobro, getting ready to play, and he, he'd break a string. Sure enough, every time I break a string, he'd be like, oh, Mabel, I broke a string on this. And of course, Mabel come running out there, she's supposed to be wise, she'd bring him a new dobro. So he He'd get that and start tuning up. Sure enough, every time this string just broke off there, he'd be hard about it. Mabel, give me another one of these out here. If the string broke on this. Of course, that'd go on for about four to five minutes. Then after that, you know, he'd be up there, it'd be funny as hell. He'd be like, Mabel, bring me another one. She'd be like, we all out of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing I ever seen in my life. That still just tickles me to death. Yeah, old gas boot. I tell you what, that's the funniest thing ever. Yeah, yeah, old gas boot. Yeah. That's the whole act. Oh yeah, it was the funniest thing you ever would see. Yeah, old gas boot. Yeah, he's hilarious. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That's all he would do. Yeah, that's all he do. What the hell else he got to do? That sounds awful. Well, it makes sounds awful. What the hell you know about comedy? You ain't got no damn sense of humor. Who the hell you think's funny? Jeff Dunham. Jeff. The, the puppets don't count, no sir. They do when they're racist. Ah, oh, well, a little bit. I guess. Imagine if they elected old Jeff Dunham in the Senate. Senator yeah. Jeff Dunham. Yeah. Oh, they wouldn't want him in the Senate. They'd be taking a vote. They'd sneak one in, little puppet arms up, get yeah. an extra vote. <laughs> It'd yeah. be funny. 